All right, guys, we're back here in the shop. Another beautiful day outside, but we're inside working on some hot rods. In between some things right now, I'm about to do a little detail project that probably not a lot of people knew was a thing. So I'm gonna share it with you. Cool little idea that uh, QC Eric, QCS Eric came up with. Working on a little small block here. We're gonna hide the spark plug wires, okay? Little, little 350 here for a future project you're gonna see here soon enough. Good running motor out of my buddy Dustin's truck. We stripped it down, wire brushed the motor, painted it with, yes, this was a Chevrolet color, not a Ford color. Chevrolet blue from the 80s, cause it's going in the 80s K10. Harris Custom Coatings did all my bracketry, working on getting all that installed. New accessories and painting and detailing. And one thing I hate is when you have all of your really cool speed bits and neat things, is when you have big ugly spark plug wires going over the motor cluttering this up and blocking the view of some neat stuff that you paid a lot of money for so what we're going to do is we're going to run the spark plug wires under the headers back around the back of the motor make it a very very clean look something you probably haven't seen or if you have seen it you didn't realize you see it because they were hidden so this is what we use this is summit brand I threw the box away already sum eight six zero eight two nine this is their universal i don't know if you want to call this a cut to fit a diy or whatever do it yourself make your own length plug wires this is going to allow us to route them wherever we want to make the cleanest finish because we're going near the headers we got to have something protect us from the heat dei and this is sorry for the glare here wow all right part number zero one zero four one nine this is their uh, one inch, three foot heat shield and comes in a three foot strip. I've already cut it in half. Get some of these, I don't know what you call them, P-clips, Q-clips, insulated wire holders, whatever. They make metal ones, they make aluminum ones. Get whatever you have, whatever you can get. I think these are one inch and I think these are five eighths. You'll see what we're doing with those later. Just some regular quarter 20 with some locks, some little shorties. Sharpie, masking tape so we don't confuse which wires we're getting here. And uh, this was probably the most expensive part of it. MSD part number 35051. These are combination crimper and strippers. So, you know, you know I love a good stripper. And a uh, flathead just because we're gonna need it for something. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll show, you, I'll show you what we're going to do here. All right, so I pulled the header off so that you can see better. I went ahead and uh, separated the lengths of the wires. Now, obviously eight wires and there's four pairs of lengths. So four pairs of shortest, second to shortest, second to longest and longest. So obviously put the longest ones on the front, work your way to the back. All right, so if you ever notice, now, I don't know about other motors, but small block Chevys have these little quarter 20 holes here. I don't know what these were for. I don't know if some kind of heat shield or some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what this was originally used for, but they're about to be spark plug wire holders. But because they never get used, get your little quarter 20 tap and just clean these holes up a little bit. It's going to make your life a little easier and less chance of, you know, wringing a bolt off in the block and now you're simple cool wire project has turned into a nightmare now use the correct tap handle if you have one hey hey l you helping she's no help and just yeah work the tap back and forth if you don't know this is just cleaning up this isn't really tapping but you want to go forward you know half around and then back a little bit and that's going to break any kind of chip that would have been on it Just work your way up. Isn't that right? Yeah, you know. So once you have the holes cleaned out, grab your first two wires, obviously labeled, come in here with a Sharpie and just put, okay, on a small block Chevy, right hand side of the motor, two, four, six, eight. Driver side, one, three, five, seven. 
Keep that in mind, Google it in case you're not sure. It's just how they number these. So, you're gonna grab two and four, and you're gonna feed them in the sleeve. Right out the other side. All right, once you fed them through, you put your little clamp around and uh, put the bolt hole at the bottom. Get your little quarter 20. Now remember, there's a motor mount boss, if you will, here, and it's gonna have that clamshell bracket coming off of it, so we want this to be above that. And you just kinda fold it over, make it look kinda uniform right there. Now, prop this guy up here. You always want to just stay on top of checking your he header clearance. So just kind of set it back up there. Let the bolts fall out like usual. So you can see right here, plenty of clearance. This number two goes up and around. Now we got to figure out where uh, four and six are going to go. So we see they've got plenty of clearance. So what we're going to do We see that they have plenty of clearance this way. So you could make one slit here, one slit here and run them down. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one slit and just clock them like that. So they'll both go in the same hole. At least we're gonna try it. Now you have to be very, very, very careful because your spark plug wires are already in here. So you can kind of feel where they're at way down there at the bottom and you have all this extra sleeve so let's put a small little slit and if you don't feel comfortable doing this pull the spark plug wires back out use a little slit like that use your knife for things that andrew says you're not supposed to use them for thanks andrew <laughs> And you'll get your second clamp, same way, put it down. All right, once you get it started, then you can kind of Twist that around a little bit. Make that look a little nicer. See, we can do it like that right there. Oh yeah, that right there looks nice. Now, always keep checking the header clearance. Oh yeah. Plenty of room. But before we get too carried away, go ahead, give us one of those thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Keep on supporting us because we're gonna keep bringing some, I don't know, I think pretty quality content to you. All right, so moving around to the back of the block. It's got all these bolt holes in the back that might put a ground back here or something, but there's extras. So get another clamp. Now this is a 5 8 clamp and it had like I don't know, five sixteenths holes in it. So we took it for a ride in the old uh, Una, Una Wiggler and opened it on up to a three eighths hole. So you can run a three eighths bolt and a three eighths hole. So put all those guys together.
kind of something like that. Now, this looks like it probably actually needs a bigger, maybe like a three quarter clamp. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna smoke that one down right now, but it kind of holds it to give it the idea. We'll get a bigger clamp next go around, but that's where that goes. Yeah, keeps it nice and tight. Don't pull it too tight to be chafing on the edge of the head, but you get the idea. Got the driver's side done. Same thing as the other side. Cleaned out the quarter 20 holes, front and rear. Put the clamps on with the heat sleeve. You can see we just snuck it in there. Snuck it in the end. It's gonna come back around the back. Like I said, for the passenger side, for the driver as well, we're gonna get one size bigger clamp and that'll go there. And then yeah, so now we got both sides ran back to the distributor. Let's talk about the distributor for a second. This is the HEI, okay? So, coil's made into it, we don't need a coil wire. I have it already set up, and the way the HEIs work is starting from here, number one, see, I've got the little terminal, and I did both ways. So, I've got each terminal numbered in the firing order. Now, this turns this direction clockwise, okay? Looking at the top of it here. And I also drew us a little cheat sheet. So, as you can see front, you can see the little plug thing here. Front goes that way, turns that way. 18436572. Okay, so now all you have to do is Whichever side you want to start with, I'm going to start with the passenger side just because. Pick a wire, whichever wire you want. Let's call it this one. Then we're going to look at the end where we numbered it. And this is number two. So we start building wires. Now that we have plug wire two, very first one, so we can kind of go wherever we want. And I think we're going to sneak behind up and around kind of like that or will it look better around this way just got to kind of play with it there's the vacuum advance over here you got to work around so yeah maybe maybe it'll look a little better there i don't know either way it's probably long enough to switch it around if i decided to so just, just doing them one at a time allows us to really focus on links and the routing so Kind of use your thumb, you know it needs to be, I don't know, one that's something kind of tight, probably right around there. So now we just snip it. And I will note that this plug wire kit did come with a little Summit Racing crimper thing to use with a vise, which would probably work fine, but since I'm a little bougie and I'm going to be doing a bunch of this, I went ahead and got the tool. So you get your wire, right here, All right, get your wire and you figure out exactly where you want it to be and you trim it to fit. Let's take you some dikes. Boop. All right, now that you're trimmed, use one of your other wires as kind of a reference of how much of the inner electrode you need exposed. So use that for reference and then you can use the stripping section of the pliers right there to strip it back. There you go, there's one we stripped, one of the factor ones, about the same amount of electrode. So, what you do now is you fold this back. Now think about which way this is going on here. You fold this back out of the way, right? You take your terminal and just go ahead and just ever so slightly bend your terminal end inward i should say let's bend it inward just a little bit so it fits in the crimpers just a touch better all right so let's make sure we have the right kind of terminals this this particular kit comes with like three different styles so get the one that matches your distributor go ahead and put it in your crimpers smooth side down the open sides to the little the little tangs here let's get some light on the situation there we go smooth side down right here this one matches our distributor 
and you're going to come in with the wire bent down and the, and that will go to the smooth side you just put it up in there like that and crimp it all the way down and there you go nice strong crimp terminal now there's two ways to do it some of you may be freaking out like oh my god you didn't put the boot on you can do it afterwards or beforehand it doesn't really matter just every, whichever one you choose make sure you get the correct boot use the supplied dielectric grease and then, i mean just pump that sucker full and then obviously the open end goes downward you just work it in there you get it started plenty of grease just small little screwdriver kind of help work it down in there there we go work it down in there and now it's got a ton of grease in there but you can see boom there's the end of our terminal so now we have one done seven more to go so get to work all right that's it camera died about three seconds into the time lapse so here's what we got finished up making all of our terminal ends here all those come out really cool use some of the supplied plug wire holders you I mean you can just see how nice and, and nice and sanitary all that came out like i said we're going to get a little bit bigger p clamp for that but put the headers back on and just just check that out you know like it at first glance i mean yeah the, the spark plug wires are there and they just kind of tuck off but they're not just jumping out at you you know they're not just like draped over your ebay valve covers but you know we won't tell anyone where they came from yeah it's just a nice little sanitary way to do it so I think it turned out pretty cool. Can't wait to get the front of the accessory drive finished. See, here's the driver's side. Now, I will say they are a pain to work on if you have to. Changing plugs isn't hard, but if you have to change a plug wire for any reason, that's gonna be a booger. But, you know, it's the price of looking cool, I guess. Thanks for sticking around. We're gonna try to bring some more great little tech tips here and there. All right, until then, see ya.